Hello, Rattling, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Whereas we last left off, I had an identity crisis and stuff like that. I didn't know who I was and what I was and why I'm what and stuff like that. I think. So, yeah. Last time we left off was this cutscene. Basically, looking at the soldiers. We'll do whatever it takes. The same smoking a cigarette so and then walking to work. To Getting sure ready for work. That's words. The other guy had forgot. The two random soldiers, I don't know who those two are. Probably one of them is the woman. Maybe. <coughs> Sorry. Just had to fix my throat a little bit. So we flew into somewhere, I don't know. I forgot what happened exactly. The final countdown. So is, am I close to it? the end then? Because I cannot tell. Yep, this is where we last left off. Solovetsky's two clicks out. Hello, Adler. EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. And that's how he went off the air or something. I don't know. Did, did we get him? I have a bad guys. Lots of bad guys. Bad guys. I wasn't even aiming at them. Okay. So it was just spray and spray. And now we're here, I assume. Push up, push up. Go, go, go. I tried to be not use all the ammo. But I guess it was very short, so that's why it gave us so little ammo. Where? That? Was that the guy in RPG here? Uh, can you move? So I can see. And shoot. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just shooting from far away. That's another RPG here. Okay. They're falling back. Yeah, yeah, nice try, buddy. You have don't have this precision like me. Okay, I'm pushing forward, boys. Whatever he said, I didn't hear it. It was all mumbled. Okay, I cleared. Move forward. I guess I'm using this. If I can press F on it, because when you do animation, you cannot get hurt. So that's gonna go kablooey. And went kablooey. We just killed the RPGers. Okay, clear. Move in. Are they gonna break down the door? Of course. What do we have for the secondary? A shotgun? Sheesh. One. We got one AA clear. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. We'll yeah, Hudson. Eat my shotgun. Long, long range. The quick reload. Heavy armored. That's an automatic shotgun. Well, I have the damage one that does more damage, but close range doesn't matter. Sheesh. Shotgun fight. I'm trying. 
Or a grenade under his feet. I'm trying. Got him. I'm trying and getting overwhelmed by people. It's a bomb. That's an RPG here. Oh, say hello to my little friend! Shouldn't have given me this. Okay. I did it, boys. I did it. Don't look at it, dumbass! You dumbass! Bell! What don't you understand? We have to go! <laughs> God damn it, he's dumb. Stop the nukes. Thank God. Thank God. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. Nope. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Is that it? Is that the end of the story? Really? We stopped them. Those towers are history. Not about me. Situation down there. Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Them? Is that me? By them? Over here! Give me a hand! Sup? Take my hand, Bell. I did. We did it. This is a message Good. to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. Yeah. This is how wars are won, Bell. Rest in peace for the soldiers that didn't make it. Is that really it? Is that the end? Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. Okay. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan I'm just listening. Out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. Oh yeah, she died. We've spoken to MI6, they're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. He'll return to the agency in good time. Pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovesky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures. Like Is that all the choices I made? Which of 
course, we're not authorized to do. Not yet. Just saying all the choices I made. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with precious <laughs> He said, "Come." There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. So. And Bell. And Bell. Yeah, what about me? Arctic air. I saw this. There's the head. Just a little. Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Percy. I think it should be more orange One here. One is without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision in your own accord. Okay. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me. What thing? It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Yeah, but I'm still an enemy. Make sacrifices. Right. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. He's gonna kill me. There's no other way, cause he survives. <clears throat> cause I know, cause I played multiplayer, saw so all the cutscenes. And so what happens to Percy is... And then the next game will tell us more. Whenever that combat recruit. That was really the it. The end? The it. Wow. The it! It was the it, man. Mm. Damn. Damn, I'm gonna s hold space to fast forward. I'm gonna fast forward so at least I can showcase and talk about a little bit of the game. A multiplayer did carry this game a lot farther than the campaign. The game campaign was so, so great with the zombie easter egg. I love that easter egg. Too bad I was too bad to do anything about it. So yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the story, if you want to know more about the story, basically... Um, the battle pass has increased, they did animation to increase the story, like, the day, um, like, Perseus, um, Kibna, no, that Adler, Kibna Perseus, did experiments on him, so he has a very messed up face and body, and he has different, total different look to him, and stuff, and, basically, the Perseus escapes again, right? And then basically does a lot of bad things, gets a new team like in somewhere else, and then basically keep, they somehow kidnap um, Adler, make him work for him with the mind control or whatever, and so he does some stuff for Perseus, and then basically um, the main character from Black Ops 1, what's his name? Something with M. Well, basically, the main character that from the Black Ops 1 helps Adler get his memories back and think who he is and what he is and stuff. And gets his memories back. And then basically they group, group up together, turn out Perseus again. And Perseus is at the field of a some kind of grave. So Adler tries to kill Perseus. And basically... Um, it turns into black and you hear a gunshot. But people are speculating that Adler dies by a sniper off from Perseus and Perseus lives on. And <laughs> it's some, he thinks, I think he tells us he's not Perseus. He's just the will of Perseus or something like that. I'm not sure anymore. So check out all of those cutscenes and stuff to understand more of the story. But that was it. And Bell dies, it seems. So I'm gonna go to multiplayer. I played a lot of this game, guys. I really did. I almost maxed everything. This is my character right here. So ignore me. I cannot look at this. I played some zombies a little bit. So ignore me. I really need to clean this stuff up. I cannot take having the the green dots everywhere. It, it's too annoying. If I can find it. There it is. That's the last thing I did. There's something more. Really, it didn't, it didn't count, probably. Or I have multiple. And I'm legally blind. 
Because I did all of the missions and stuff like that. I'm gonna do some zombies, don't worry guys. Because this this one, I believe it has the best zombies. Okay, now it's clear. Except for this. Th this is an arcade that I found, I guess. In multi in comp campaign. So, operators. So. Who is this? Because you start with this operator. And this is Hunter. Song. Wow, that's Adler. Baker. Sim, Sim, sorry, Zinia, uh, Wolf. It doesn't show the pictures because it's not loading properly. Park, Woods, Captain Price. It was a big surprise. Striker, uh, King Slain, uh, Ma Ma Mason, Mason. That's the guy, Mason. <coughs> Bulldozer, Raven, Rivas. Maxis, Waver, Salt, Hanson, Lazar. Okay, those are all the characters. Some of them are not loading pr properly. I apologize, it's just my bad. And then the enemy side. Mangard, Powers, um, Pronov, Garci. And then Peck from Zombies. Antoniov. And this is... No, Stitch. That's Stitch. Perseus. See? Stitch is Perseus. X. Something Perseus. So. Then there's this guy. This guy was really cool. And then this is from the... This two are from the clip of him continuing stuff. And then there's Cruson. What is his name? Jackal. And then this is the guy I'm playing Stone. I mean, he was the first character I was like, I need to unlock this guy. And when I did unlock him, <coughs> Sass, X Sass unit. Mm, interesting. I really like to play Sass in Modern Warfare. So, Knight and Fuzz. So, I think this these two universes is connected somehow, because Captain Price was here, or they just wanted to make a connection or something. So, I guess two different teams. So, yeah. That's it. I played a lot of this game, as you can see, of my collection of guns they have and skins, if, it, if they load. As you can see, I didn't max everything, but I did get a lot of things done. They would load. I don't know why my PC is so slow. I was a sniper main. Look at this. The best, uh, the best skin ever. Damn. Missed it. And then the first, my favorite gun. Looks very epic. These are just classes I made for fun to play. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. My favorite gun in the whole game. The double shotgun pistols. I made a lot of the guns. And then this is the dragon one, I believe. The first master craft, and it's still one of the best, I think. It has the wings and everything. And the nail gun, but you don't see it because the nail gun is on the side here. I do have dark ether on it. I don't know why it doesn't. Or this one. I don't know why I don't have any of those on. So yeah, weird. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna do some zombies, so don't worry. I will do zombies, because I love the zombie part of this. And I maxed everything, except for the guns. I need to let it load. See, I have a doggo, zombie doggo there. As you can see, again, this gun. My favorite gun in the game. I love the anti anti-tank rifles so they're so massive so huge so cool looking so powerful i like it because they can one shot so yeah that's basically it um so i'm gonna do some zombies i'm gonna do all of the i'm gonna play solo of course and i'm gonna do all of the main ones except i'm not gonna do outbreak because outbreak does have like some storyline missions but they're super hard and they're so, so time consuming. You wanna see them? Um, I did do streams of this game, not here but on Twitch, so I don't think you can see them properly. So yeah, I'm gonna do zombies. I'm gonna try to do all of the Easter eggs. I think there are three maps or four maps. Let me see actually. Um, I'm not gonna do the monkey stuff because that, that's boring. So there's a dead machine. Firebase, uh, and then there's a game mode outbreak that has two or three things, then another outbreak, outbreak, and then yeah, there are four maps. 
<coughs> more the town soul. This one is really hard, so I don't think I'm gonna able to complete that solo because it's really hard. And then the Forsaken Soul. The Forsaken Soul, I, I don't have like a hundred percent clue how, what to do, but I did finish it on my own, I think. And so I can do this one as well. But this one, I don't believe I'm gonna be able to finish it. But I'm gonna try my hard, goddamn hardest. This one, I 100% think I can do it. I think. It's really hard. So I'm gonna have to revisit some guides and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully they enjoy. That was the campaign of Black Ops Cold War. We're gonna do some zombies in next videos. And then we're gonna move up to Vanguard and do the campaign there. I'm excited for that campaign because multiplayer is decent but very annoying to play and the zombies are so bad i'm gonna show you i didn't play at all any of the zombies that much i only maxed the knife out because i was like next cod cod game i'm gonna max every gun as fast as possible and when i just saw how bad the game was i was like like i'm, I'm not gonna do it i'm really not gonna do it i need to, i need to waste so much time to do one gun so i didn't do them but yeah hopefully you didn't enjoy hopefully you're gonna be excited for the zombie game next time and see you what oh it's just a continuation of the picture so hopefully you enjoy and see you in the next video bye